Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 50 of Persona 4. And God, that slowdown. Wow. Just wow. Whatever the case, we're about to go into the 11th floor to face the intolerant officer. I accidentally called him intolerable. But intolerant officer. That's what his name is. And more importantly, intolerant officer is different in this game than what he is in gold. Intolerant officer's got three witnesses, lightning, wind, and ice. However, in golden, he's only weak to lightning. So on that note, once he's weak to lightning, he'll just fall down and you can just beat him up. And however, I'm constantly using lightning-based attacks because of the fact that this guy <clears throat> is like weak to lightning. Although he deals normal damage to fire, I think he has normal damage to physical everything else. He's just either resistant to or he blocks, which is like light, light and dark, obviously because he's a boss. But <clears throat> Golden, he's only weak to thunder, he takes normal damage from everything else. No, actually he resists ice and he resists um wind. Because here he takes 75% damage from ice and like I think an extra 50 more of wind, he doesn't like go down like he does with lightning. But having to uh knock him off his feet and doing an all-out attack actually does weaken him. And he's got 3,000 HP. So yeah, you're going to be in for the long haul, folks. Just to let you know. But beware. If you don't have anybody that's not blocking, that's weak to um, ice, well, guess what? They're going to be knocked down. Oh, I don't have any... Oh, well... I do have that, and it won't cure down, so... Uh... Ball Lightning, I guess? And I don't have a Persona that cures Dizzy! No! No, Yukika's gonna die! And I'm gonna have to, unfortunately, use... Wait, no. Wrong, wrong Persona. Hold on. Okay, there we go. We're gonna have to use Ares to lower his defenses, which is something... If you have a Persona with Rakunda, I think it would be a good idea to use it. But, for right now, I'm not using that. I'm going to go on ahead and stun him again. Yeah, all attack's going to be weaker, but at least we'll knock him down. Unfortunately, Yukiko is not going to get up until somebody actually uh, heals her. And I had to cure Dizzy, and unfortunately, that was my last Hiranya. I mean... Hiranya, I can't pronounce that to save my life. Oh, why did I guard? I should have healed. Alright, ball lightning. Let's beat him up. And that should take care of him. Oh no! Kachi's weak to win! Well, at least he's not weak to ice. Hold on. Let's knock him down. And that's the thing. If the intolerable officer actually scores with either um, Buffala or, I do believe, Garula, he's going to get an extra turn. So let's make him pay. Or, for the most part, let's try to heal someone. Or, we could just use this one here. Uh, I'll just race my defenses. Maybe that way Kanji won't be, like, completely and utterly wrecked. But healing! I should have done this the first turn. Healing would actually help! Oh, uh, by the way... In case somebody's wondering what happened there, frame rate drop. Sorry about that, folks. That tends to happen. And there have been frame rate drops 
as a word of warning, I'm going to tell you, throughout the uh, trip throughout um, Maracu Strip Tease. So, just a word of warning, for some reason I ended up having a bunch of frame rate drops. So, on that note, <clears throat> let's just keep the attack up, or I could just heal. I think it's preferred that I just heal. Well, at least Yuki Kill is back in the hundreds, and it's not too bad off. Oh, I just keep spamming Zionaga, and you know what? I should have used Rakunda. That would really help right about now. Let's keep on doing this and keep spamming Thunder until that is you drop his health. I mean, it'll dawn on past me that he's actually weak to ice and also to wind, but it'll dawn on me eventually. But it did dawn on me to keep Yukiko's, um, health up because this fat bastard will try to attack her ooh even better race the defenses fantastic oh he's going after Yukiko of course he is no oh you butthole I can't dispel that ah I am so gonna be looking for Forward. So going to be looking for if Teddy has uh, something that cures Dizzy. Wait, no, Teddy does not have something that cures Dizzy. Damn it, I think only Yukiko does. And that won't happen until, like, she gets to um, a very high level and maxes out her persona. Damn it, just can't win. Whatever the case, let's keep the pain coming. We, we're halfway there, and I mean, Yukiko is dizzy and down. Alright, get up, Yuki. Oh, wait, she's still dizzy. And yeah, that was a frame rate drop, by the way. Sorry about that, and I apologize. You know what? I should have used this first. I didn't even think about that. Why did I use a supersonic? <sighs> Past me doesn't think. And time to heal, Yukiko. Revival bead. Please get up. Please? I'm begging you. Okay. Time to hit him with the Rick. I mean, the Zionaga. Yeah, this is kind of the first time where our healer is getting slapped around so badly. God forbid we get to the Shadow Teddy fight. But whatever the case. Well, that is if I get lucky as far as the Shadow Teddy fight's concerned. We're gonna just give him Yukiko a magical... You know what? I just realized I had that. I just realized I had that. And not once did I use it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That is just a broad moment right there. I just realized I had a magic mirror that could have saved Yukiko. Why didn't I use it? Someone's going to point that out. God damn it. Ugh. That's okay. I'm just pounding away at him. Pounding away at flesh. But he's going to go down eventually. They always do. Well, we're pretty much chipping away at him at least. And we got a full team, so we're doing some damage. You know, it's going to take me a while for me to actually realize, hey, I should use Rakunda right about now. Uh, oh. I don't have any physical mirrors. Oh. Um. I guess somebody's going to have to get, take a Terracaja. Probably you. No, or probably Kanji, yes. Oh, that's actually worthwhile. Ha! Take that, you stupid bastard. Eh, that's the last one. I, I, uh, I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna heal. There, there's nothing else I could do right about now. All right. Let's just keep doing some damage to him, and eventually it'll come to me to actually use Rakunda. Eventually. 
I should have used that in this entire fight, which would have more than likely defeated the Intolerant Officer a long time ago. Well, Kanji is really doing some hard hitting right here. And Kanji is definitely our tank, even though he barely has any armor to show. He's got the generic armor. So yeah, we're holding it down. Let's just hope nothing happens to the MC. Oh, of course you kill my... Of course you kill Yuki Kill. Oh, no! No! Not again! God damn it! Leave Yukiko alone! She's not Yosuke! Uh, sorry about that, Yosuke. I mean... Life does hate you, but still... We've almost, we almost got this. I mean, this was kind of a disaster as far as Yukiko is concerned. But honest to God, I should have just came in with... No, I don't think it would be a wise idea to come in with Teddy. I really didn't think it would have been a wise idea to come in with Teddy. I mean, Teddy is the better magician, but at the same vein... Uh... Teddy would get seriously cremated with the wind attacks. Because I do believe Teddy's weak to win. I'll have to check on that. But for right now, let's just keep blasting this guy until he's down for the count. He's down. And now let's beat him down one good time. And this should probably put it into him. Oh, he's still up. Zionaga him. Just finish him off. Aw, oh, yeah. Keep the beat down coming. We'll probably have one more go round with this and we'll probably finish. Wait. Yeah, one more go round. I guess slam him with Bufu, I suppose, or Skullcracker. You know what? I should have done that too. Oh wait, never mind. It wouldn't have helped. Oh, Screw it. Yukiko gets her revenge. Ha ha! Now that's the way to end the fight. So let's see who leveled up. Well, I defeated a mighty enemy and got courage. I level up to level 26. That's fantastic because we need to be level 26 or higher in order to survive Frise's dungeon. And speaking of which... Yuki kills at level 26, and she's learned Recar, which will not work on the main character. I just thought about that. Christ. But it's okay, ladies and gentlemen. Before we leave the room, however, we could just simply walk up to where uh, we confronted Kanji and just check with the X button, or the cross button if you will, and get the iron plate. The iron plate will replace the steel chair that Kanji has. I almost forgot to mention, Kanji uses bucklers and also desk and steel chairs. But primarily he's a buckler fighter. Despite the fact that uh, Kanji is a tank and also has a shield, I think his defense now, his magic defense is a little bit lower than his endurance. But whatever the case, folks, we're going to be using Kanji and Yukiko, but we're probably going to switch gears to Yosuke as we enter in the Maracu Striptease in Part 51. See you guys next time.